All right. Quick message to President Trump from an American in Finland. First off, um, love any of the association you have with the country when you come here, when you visit the president, all that stuff. But let me just say something right away to you. Um, the media completely lies. I'm sure you're shocked, and I'm sure this is the only place it's ever happened to you. But, man, our state-run media just tells us, like, there will be protests and uh, all this stuff. They cover those. And then they don't even show the people on the street with signs waiting out there for hours just to say, Hi Trump, we love you. Support for you from different groups all over the place. I'm not even going to go into what I think about you. I'm just going to make this video. So, it's, it's funny because when I moved here, I was asking people very openly from all sides of the spectrum of politics, well, what do you think of, of President Trump? And I thought I was going to get a lot more from what the newspapers say. You see, uh, they're going to be like, oh, he's a terrible guy. He does, and you already know all the claim. I'm not even going to go after each one because it's just become like a resume they try to use. But in reality, didn't they all fail? Wasn't he bulletproof to each one? And now it's, oh, the media talks about you like you're facing impeachment. All right, all right, let's, let's go to this then. If they say in the U.S. you have a 1% chance of winning the election, um, I'll give you double those odds. I'll give you a 2% chance. Just give me, yeah, the opposite. And so I'm going to win what, uh, 50 times the money? Oh my gosh, please do that. Please, anybody. I'm willing to give you double the odds of what you think is going to be the chance of Donald Trump becoming president. And, uh, well, then you should allow me some ridiculous odds. Right? Um, so, yeah, please. Any, any newspaper. Let, let's do this. You guys really, if you believe the things you say, put your money where your mouth is. You guys report things that are just complete garbage about a man that does a lot for his own citizens, and you want to paint him as all the other terms we already know, but this is the reality. When I walk around to people and ask, they kind of, you know, it's not like they're all wearing MAGA hats here, I get that, you might, uh, but you ask people directly, and they tell you, we kind of like the guy, man, because and the issue, the, the reasons are because of the media. Because they've been lying so long and trying to just ruin your reputation. And they've seen this before in other people and they know that it's not true. And normally when people get the arguments against Trump, they just like self-implode. They can't really get the argument across to the other person. But they just, ah, and I can't stand him. All right, but now you haven't convinced me. I, I, I'm open to arguments. Is really the new stuff going on right now going to be anything that's going to stop it? I'll still take these odds, even with him facing what the media says here today. And anybody for thousand dollar bets? Anything like this? This is a gambling country. I'm giving you double the odds of what all media is saying are the chances. I mean, if he's impeached, you think he'll be able to, to really make that? Man, it's quite funny because it seems like the media even has to admit that the arguments they've made have started to push people away from believing those things they believed years ago. Wow. What's the most popular party in Finland right now? So, um, really, it's, it's a ridiculous fallacy. Nothing has really stuck to the guy. And you've made me kind of excited to make a video about this, about uh, the commander-in-chief because we are certainly not embarrassed. We are certainly not um, I've been following the policy decisions and, and I'll say this and you clearly get my vote if there's uh, good Policies in the next election whatever you put on the table then I'm gonna pay attention to that not just to the not just to the name Because if you turned it around and went back on everything you did yikes, man so There's a lot of support for the position Respect for the country. Respect for Finland, too. How do you think Americans act here? We try to really get along. But it's hilarious to hear the media say that they don't 
support this type of man because literally every cultural aspect of this culture is mostly copying what we're doing in the West. The medicine, the science. And, you know, if I have a critique here of maybe of the... Uh, no, nah, I'll leave the, the... I don't want to even talk about anybody else. I want to leave this on one man alone. That... It's just ridiculous the smear campaigns they've had against you when you can see the amount of support for you in the cities. And man, they, they wish for a type of character like that here in Finland. I have a feeling you're one of a kind. And just whatever good and bad, I'm not really interested in focusing on the bad. We've heard two and a half years of that. And it's a 1% chance you're going to win the next election. Come on then. Come on. This is the stuff they're teaching. This is the stuff they're teaching. So, you know, there. I think the last article I read was something about Trump's awkwardness. Trying to touch the president's knee or something. Come on. Then the hand was removed. It wasn't even a thing. I couldn't find the video of it even on the site. And, and by the way, our media never puts the sources of where they find these studies and polls that, you know, uh, where they came up with all the research against that people hate you so much. There's definitely big groups that believe the media. But so far, their arguments haven't been able to beat the other arguments. And everybody clearly, even if they don't support you because they believe some of the stuff they've heard, they clearly think you're going to win. I'm sure I can get lots of people on the left to put money on my bet that I just offered. Give me 50 times the odds. You pay me 50 grand if I win, uh, if Trump wins, and you get a grand if uh, you win. That's good odds, right? If it's a 1% chance, pretty sure they're not going to do it, right? And it's just, I'm not trying to promote here for conservatives. I don't know enough about the politicians here, and I don't, uh, and I'm only trying to speak on this one thing. You can put me in a category if you want for this video, but this is just, is it really wrong to at least defend? He's not done yet. He hasn't been impeached. There has been nothing that has really been enough for me to change this video. Maybe there will be. Fine. I've always liked changing ideas, but for right now, the guy in two and a half years, where's all the dead people and all the uh, <laughs> all the, the white gangs that they're saying and all this stuff and it's just going to make completely not true. So you're a hero to a lot of people here. I enjoy the work that you're doing. Keep it up because you're pissing off a lot of people so you must be doing something right. And from for, to the other side, many of us that are open-minded are waiting for the argument for why he is unable to lead. Because he seems good as a leader, but apparently they want Trump to be the only politician on the planet that just never leaves a detail out, never fudges something because we can't handle it. Look, I don't know the military situations. You don't have to tell me everything. I don't even understand the history and the politics behind the conflicts. So. I'm just going to defer that I don't know about these things and just give it to trust the, the military complex to do it, I guess. I'm trying to learn. But this is but in US is the only place where we have this uncensored access. Even here in Finland, I've heard that there are people being sued in court for speech laws because they offend certain groups. But it doesn't matter. You can put a picture of you know, Trump's head cut off on a subway, and that's not, it doesn't matter if that offends anybody, it's not a crime. So do you see how it's like, just, just if you look at the argument alone, if you can detach me from any kind of identity, the fact that I'm proudly wearing an American flag, why not? I played basketball in the U.S., I earned a scholarship to play, and now I play elsewhere. I'm very proud of the opportunity this country gave me. You know what, and I'll add, I'll just, I'll leave it done with Trump and I'll just say this thing. God, I had it very rough in the U.S., very, very rough. Lots of diseases when I was young. I had asthma, cancer young. All of these things, and I was incredibly obese too. I was 200 and 
220 pounds when I was 12 years old. So you can imagine feeling kind of trapped in your own body. Allergies, can't really go outside, go to friends' houses, can't run, you might die. In the U.S., instead of getting help from the government, I never took food stamps. I tried never to ask for money from people, maybe besides my family. And I built my own skills up in different fields. And eventually I got myself healthy. I got myself off all prescriptions. This may be no achievement to you. I don't, that's not the point. But for me, the U.S. allowed me to have a successful life here with beautiful women. And the people in Finland are the, the least, they're the most welcoming I've ever seen for a group that's very homogenous. They've been used to themselves for so long. I've never met people that are so open uh, to outsiders. Of course you get some stuff here, but trust me. Uh, if we want to go into the situations of how many times violence occurred here between groups, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to take the, uh, the evidence from the sources that I just heard from earlier, uh, mentioned earlier. Of course there's problems in the U.S. Of course, huge ones. But, but, the, but the point is, let's work within the system to fix it. Let's work together to fix it. Let's work with other countries to get this better. There is no way it makes the world better off if the U.S. disappears right now. At least not for Finland. What if, what if really a Tulsi Gabbard got in there and disarmed the entire military? Sure. Well, I don't think I'd be able to live here very long. I'd probably have to flee immediately. I don't want to get too much more into my own thoughts on this. I just wanted, I, I like the beginning part. Honestly, I wish I would, uh, maybe I should separate the two. But, um, just <laughs> please don't believe the things you hear in the media here. They're completely full of crap. You can clearly see because of the way that they do not, they're not transparent. They do not link to studies. They do not tell you if studies are actually based on good information or if they're based on quizzes or um, just things that you would think are non-scientific. I'm not saying I'm a higher standard of science because I make no money, I'm not trying to do anything. But actually, that's my one argument. I'm at least open-minded and I'm not, I have biases, but I'm willing to change them. I want to understand them and I want to understand the other person's point of view. So that's the last thing I'll say is I am a little bit upset at the, no, I just get a little, I don't know, miffed. I never use that word. Um, at Republicans that come hard at the other side, because then I think you're being divisive. We want to pull the people back to understanding that it's not just meant to be us versus them, that we should work together. Um, their kids have to be around our kids. Their kids educate our kids. So let's try to get along.